Over the last few years, cybersecurity has moved from an optional to an essential matter. It has reached the point where we can't watch or read the news without the mention of some form of cyber attack. Becoming cyber secure should be one of your organization's top priorities. This video is going to look at three fundamental domains of cyber security. People, process and technology. Effective people, processes and technology are all required for organizations looking to become cyber secure. Each domain has its own key areas which need to be implemented according to the organization. In regards to people, you need to provide relevant training to your staff and have staff with professional skills and qualifications. Efficient processes are the key to the implementation of an effective cybersecurity strategy. They define and explain how the many activities, procedures, roles and documentation are used to mitigate the risks associated with cybercrime. And finally, technology. It is hardly possible to deploy any technology without having the first domains down to a T. When identifying the right technology, you'll have to look at testing your network for vulnerabilities, securing information and location. Incompetent staff pose one of the biggest cybersecurity threats, and it's up to you to reduce that risk. Training plays an important role in raising awareness amongst non-technical staff and improving the skills of technical staff. Your non-technical staff are those who aren't directly responsible for cybersecurity, but pose a threat. For example, a member of staff who has access to confidential files may be unaware they just opened an email which contained malware, leading to a breach. Your technical staff are those who are responsible for cybersecurity, for example CIOs, CISOs, IT managers and other roles. They will appreciate being given the opportunity to earn internationally recognized qualifications, whilst you will ensure that your employees have a broad range of cybersecurity skills and competence. To reduce the insider threat, we suggest that you consider providing your non-technical staff with basic information security awareness training. There are e-learning options available meaning your staff won't need to leave their desks, thus reducing costs. For your technical staff, we recommend providing them with the opportunity to receive qualifications from prestigious accreditation bodies, such as IBITGQ, ISC Squared, and ISARCA. Even the best people and technology in the world cannot protect you from cyber attacks unless there are well-defined processes in place which identify what activities, procedures, roles and documentation should exist to mitigate the risks associated with cyber crime. A process is a structured set of activities designed to accomplish a specific objective. It can take one or more defined inputs and turn them into defined outputs. A typical process will include the following components. Activities, procedures, work instructions, metrics, roles and improvements. The gradual and continual improvement of processes is a crucial part of modern management practice and effective cybersecurity. The continuous process improvement is based on many small evolutionary steps rather than the larger revolutionary innovations. The Capability Maturity Model CMM, provides a framework for organizing these evolutionary steps into five maturity levels that lay successive foundations for continuous process improvement. Level 1 – Initial it is characteristic of processes at this level that they are typically undocumented and in a state of dynamic change, tending to be driven in an ad hoc, uncontrolled and reactive manner by users or events. This provides a chaotic or unstable environment for the processes. Level 2. Repeatable. At this level, some processes are repeatable with the possibility of consistent results. Process discipline is in place, but is unlikely to be rigorous. 
However, where it exists, it may help to ensure that existing processes are maintained during times of stress. Level 3. Defined. At level 3, we now see sets of defined and documented standard processes which are subject to some degree of improvement over time. Level 4. Managed. Using process metrics, management can now effectively control the process as well as identify ways to adjust and adapt the process to particular projects without losses of quality. Level 5. Optimizing. At the top of the model, we can now see that the focus is on continually improving the process performance through both incremental and innovative changes and or improvements. To help you with the processes involved with cybersecurity, there are several options available to you. Cybersecurity standards, including PAS 555, ISO 27032, and ISO 27001. Documentation toolkits, which will save you a large amount of time. Implementer training courses for your technical staff. And auditor training courses. As already mentioned, technology can't be deployed without people and processes. However, it still plays a vital role in effective cybersecurity. The UK government recently released the 10 steps to cybersecurity. This included six technology related elements. Number one, home and mobile networking. If you have users who work at home or on the move, then you need to ensure that their devices are secure. This means installing encryption software using privacy filters and other methods. Number two, managing user privileges. Giving your staff access to the documents they require to perform their tasks is clearly a must, but it's also important to think about restricting access to things they don't require. Number three, removable media controls. This step is rather simple. Having software installed which scans all media devices will reduce the chance of staff accidentally installing malware onto the corporate system. Number four, secure configuration. Ensuring that your systems are up to date is vital. For example, if there are updates for your operating system, then it's important that they are installed as they are likely to be security updates. Number five, malware protection. Having up-to-date malware defenses will reduce the chance of your organization suffering a breach. Number six, network security. Your organization's network is the most important thing to protect. Regular penetration tests of your network's internal and external interfaces is a must. There are many solutions available to you which will help make sure your cybersecurity defenses are second to none. Penetration testing, which will find vulnerabilities in your network before the hackers do. Privacy filters, to prevent shoulder surfers looking at your devices, especially useful for mobile workers. Classification software, which will help you apply relevant classifications to documents thus leading to better user privilege management. Encryption software will prove to be highly useful when the worst happens and you suffer a breach. By encrypting your data, the chance of hackers accessing your information drops dramatically. Anti-malware software this is essentially the front line of your cybersecurity defense. If you fail to install anti-malware across your network, then your organization is open to attack. If you're concerned about your cybersecurity defenses, then contact IT Governance on 0845 070 1750 or you can email us at servicecenter at itgovernance.co.uk IT Governance can help address all cybersecurity issues businesses face today 
thanks to our cohesive cybersecurity approach, which encompasses people, process, and technology. We are the first place to come to if you're looking for standards, books, and documentation toolkits, for staff awareness e-learning courses, for certified training courses, for software tools, for penetration testing, or for consultancy services. For any more information, visit www.itgovernance.co.uk. Thank you for listening.